Hi, my name is Michelle Passanato, and I am a faculty member for the International Education Program at Pierce College. I have been with Pierce College since 1999, and I have taught in several of the departments. I have taught the English classes, English 98, 99, 101, and 103. Now that's called English 102. It's the research essay. Um, I've taught with the workforce learning and gone out to companies to teach them English. And I have even taught for the immigrant ESL program in addition to our international program. I started teaching with the international program in um, 2004. So I, uh, I love Pierce College. It's a whole part of my life. It's a big part of my life. And the college is like family to me. Um, so welcome, and I really hope that you become part of our Pierce College family. I will be teaching Grammar 2 and Reading Writing 4 in the fall. I always teach Reading Writing 4, and Reading Writing 4 is the last class that our international students take before they um, move on to taking the college English classes, usually English 101 with an English 101 co-requisite an extra two credit course to help them succeed in the class. So because I am your last stop before your English 101 course, I focus on the skills that you will need in order to succeed in those classes. And I focus very strongly on both the reading and the writing skills that you will need to succeed in English 101 and also to succeed in reading and writing for all of your college classes that you take after you leave me. Um, so for reading, I focus on comprehension strategies and I focus very strongly on interacting with the text because um, a lot of people think that reading is a passive process, but actually reading is a very, very active process and it is really important that you are interacting with the text and thinking about it as you read or you just bring the words into your head, and they go someplace else, and you're thinking about lunch. Um, and then you don't remember anything, and you have to go back and read it again. So I really focus on strategies that will keep you engaged in the reading of the text. Um, and uh, we use lots of ways to do this. Of course, we use some Canvas comprehension quizzes to kind of guide the reading process. I work very strongly with metacognitive processes and um, we use some annotation tools where you actually will see the text uh, in, a, in a separate tool online and you'll get to annotate or respond to the text right there on the screen and then read your classmates uh, responses and then respond to your classmates. So you get a chance to both write um, some responses and write back to your classmates. But then we also take that text apart in class in both small groups and as a class and have lots of class discussion and group discussion about the text and about our feelings and our thoughts about the text, which is very, very important. Um, one of my favorite activities that I have for this class is a vocabulary study. And um, I've personalized the vocabulary study because personalized vocabulary study is incredibly important, actually, both for remembering the words and uh, for understanding the words. So I let my students choose the vocabulary words from the articles that we read. And my students uh, research those words. They make presentations about those words, and then those become the class vocabulary words that we study and take our quizzes on. Um, I've had a lot of great feedback about that process because it really personalizes the learning. I'm, um, I'm a big proponent of personalizing all of the learning as much as possible in the class, so that's one way that I make um, your learning very specific to you. Um, for writing, I uh, focus, of course, on a lot of formal essays. We do get to do a narrative essay where we talk about language and we talk about rhetorical modes. 
um, and rhetorical concepts that you will then again study in English 101. But we do also write a couple of formal essays and um, lots of summaries as well because those are skills that you will all use in all of your classes when you leave me. So uh, we look at the research process. I introduce you to the librarian. Uh, we learn how to find articles uh, for a topic on the Pierce College databases. We learn how to make reference pages. We learn how to uh, quote and cite the authors and make them match those reference pages in our in-text citations. Um, again, lots of group and class discussion about these articles and about our writing. And um, of course, lots of one-on-one -on -one help from me as you are writing these essays. So I like to structure some time in class where I have the students working on something and then I can pull you individually into a breakout room and we can talk about your essay personally and look at your things that you personally need to work on to improve your specific writing. Um, we meet daily online and I am of course also available for video chat um, at a lot of different other times. All you have to do is just ask me after class and we will set up a time to meet and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about and if we need to we can go over your essay um, in even more detail but we have enough time also face to face too so I understand that you've got a really busy life going on so I try to support you in as many ways as possible. So remember to sign up for IEP classes that start this fall. You probably should get in there as soon as possible. And uh, remember that classes start for the college on September 21st. Our IEP classes actually start on September 22nd. And my Canvas shell goes live on September 17th. So you can get into my Canvas shell on September 17th and start looking at the orientation materials and the first um, texts and articles that we will be reading for the class. So I look forward to meeting you in person in Zoom and I, uh, I can't wait for fall. It's probably my favorite semester or quarter, sorry. Um, it's probably my favorite quarter because fall gives us a lot of time to really work through the process of reading and writing. So I look forward to studying with you. Thank you. Bye.